Hi, welcome to Selenium Automation Lifecycle. So, Selenium Web Dev Tutorials. In this video, you are going to learn how to prepare Selenium test planning and what is the Selenium Automation Lifecycle. Actually, it follows in different different companies. Okay, and what we required selenium automation life cycle so why we required actually life cycle so if you know manual testing in manual testing we have different life cycles right stlc and sdlc why it has created <coughs> sorry why stlc and sdlc are created why because whenever you are working on particular project or any software project each project should be in the form of very clearly should be identified by the any user okay if you see the stlc it is having requirement and analyzing the requirement okay next uh, low level designs high level designs okay design category and next coding category so once the code is completed it is deployed for testing testing category which comes stlc from here another flow will start then it will go to maintenance so why they have created this type of life cycle why because whenever you are creating or completing each stage so that there is a one chance of finding or any missing requirements in each stage so in order to track each and every requirement in each stage they have created different different life cycles for software testing whether it could be a manual or automation okay today selenium automation life cycle we are going to learn so in this one we are having different different uh, stages so which is a selenium test planning first one is a test plan which is very important and uh, second coming to preparing test scripts for identifying the identified test cases and uh, third one is a uh, you have to enhance your test scripts like uh, adding uh, verification points like assert verify so like this points okay so in order to verify expected and actual results so next one is a uh, debug the test scripts why we need to debug the test scripts we will uh, see in uh, in this lesson okay next is run the scripts once the debug is completed everything is working fine then run your scripts okay you need to review peer test scripts also which is prepared by your colleagues okay so analyze the test results it could be how many pass how many fail why it has failed so that you can uh, know or uh, you can identify it why it has failed through the screenshot okay and uh, defect logging in test management tool if you find any defects in particular flow after completion of these test scripts running your test scripts if you find any defects like a uh, particular flow, flow is not happening because of that you are facing errors okay then uh, you have to log the defect in hpqc or jmeter okay sorry HPQC and uh, Jira, okay, different different tools you can uh, log the defects. So first of all, we will see Selenium test planning. Selenium test planning before creating your Selenium test planning, what are the details you need to gather? Okay, first of all, uh, regression should test suit should be there. So all the test cases should be there, and each and every module test cases requirements should be covered with the help of test cases okay so you need to gather the url required credentials for login into your applications okay whether it be an admin or users different different users join users like that so and the required automation test cases okay, you need to prepare automation test cases okay and uh, prioritize the test cases as p1 p2 p3 high medium and low why you need to prepare prioritize the test cases 
so whenever you will see why automation testing is come into picture or when it will come it's not only for regression testing why because manual testers are require more time compared to automation testing for preparing test scripts of automation it will take more time okay so why it is come into picture means some test cases which need to be executed repeatedly whether it could be a long uh, time taking test cases okay where it could be a multiple multiple time execution test cases and whether it could be a okay and uh, what we'll call database related test cases for this test cases it will take more time okay sometimes you will uh, wait for uh, some 2 uh, 3 hours so in order to complete your uh, one test cases why because if it is having integration with different different uh, applications okay i will give you one example while you are creating any customers in any applications like uh, customer registration in gmail google sorry facebook or uh, twitter or pinterest you are going to type first name last name date of birth phone numbers gmail id password retype password confirm email id enter phone numbers and please enter your otp okay like this please enter your uh, question different different security questions so this one it will take time right so whenever you are getting that data from particular source which is from uh, like database first of all there is no data in uh, your uh, application so why because one customer is coming from different source whether it could be from google where it could be from bing or different different sources they are coming so in order to cover these type of test cases it will take time okay so after creating a test you need to check for postings in database testing okay and in database posting or it is properly working or not through the web services posting through the xml postings okay it is uh, displaying in another, which is having integration with another applications for uh, like zone ho admin users store users or banking applications different different application it is integrated then you need to check that particular scenario it will take time so the, in this type of test cases we are going to prioritize which one is a major we need to test first then what is a medium which is not impacting to our application so like this you need to prioritize the test cases so next coming to you need to prepare that framework means which framework you want to prepare or identify how you will select when coming to keyword driven framework with the help of you will do with the help of keyword driven framework you will do data driven testing parameterization testing and the plus keywords you need to identify keywords for each and every test cases okay why you will go for a data driven testing okay when coming to data driven testing suppose your application needs depends on customers which is regularly regularly they are creating updating and checking their balances okay like bank applications right so in bank application what is happen one user is creating one time only one time they are creating and they are issuing a username and password for net banking they are doing they are doing same flow like uh, adding customers so sort of beneficiaries transferring monies and receiving monies like credit debit so these are the four transactions is going to happen in bank okay that is common transaction which is happening from the bank okay, depositing and uh, withdrawal which is outside outside of application is happening so at that time you will go for data driven testing why because number of customers are logging and transferring those money and checking the beneficiaries checking the balance after transferring so these type of situation these type of scenarios you will go for data driven why because there is no need of any keywords like login the login means how many members are logging so like this you can decide as per your application okay then only you can identify the framework and you need to identify the time timelines also you need to identify if you have a more time to prepare 
but great framework you can go for keyword driven framework or hybrid driven framework okay if you have a very less time client is not waiting until you have to control your framework with long time so client is asking it is should be completed within one month or two months then you will have to take the select the framework as per your resource available if resources are more they can you can go for keyword driven framework why because each test case you should be create for keywords it depends on keywords then only your test script will be prepared efficiently so at the time you can go for keyword if you have a very less time you can go for data driven framework so next uh, select then a test framework means like for test ng annotations or maven and tools different different you need to select as per your convenience as per your knowledge okay next uh, as per your uh, advantage as also so as uh, and the next one is prepare each model test cases how many test cases are there for each model you need to identify okay so in order to provide develop test script development time calculations so how many resources are there so how many works how many hours they are working per day so how many if any resources are not coming on particular day or they are taking a leave for one week to 10 days so these all con consideration you should be consider before starting your test scripts okay so as per your resource available resource okay everything you need to prepare how much time it will take if it is delayed what will happen if you are working for 12 hours or 10 hours how much time it will take you need to discuss with project manager test lead and uh, with your colleagues okay next uh, divide the number of test cases to analyze as per iot application under flow okay so you need to divide the number of test cases to analyze same like uh, each model test cases how much time just for a time consuming you need to identify okay if it is flow is a very it is having different different two three flow two three flows why right? because if you are having five users your application is access, accessing by five users which is having different different flow okay like uh, uh, adding the users adding the mandatory details like assigning the models for each as per selecting selecting rows roles so like this everything will comes under okay in this flow this yes, you need to identify the particular flow test case then only you can able to understand the application clearly and you can able to prepare test scripts very clearly next uh, preparing the timelines as discussed with automation team members okay once the timelines everything is confirmed and uh, pakka everything is uh, done then you need to send for approval to your uh, test lead test lead will send for project manager project manager will uh, verify whether everything is fine or we need to extend or we need to decrease so what is the flow of the application how much time it will take so what is the big it is a flow and uh, whether it is a small application they will discuss with uh, test lead and members so why it will take time so what happen how many resources are available so everything comes under this once uh, project manager approves and it will send for uh, clients clients will approve everything okay this is a test planning test planning you need to identify all those requirements okay you need to understand the url credential not much test cases regression test cases what is happening so how many resources are uh, available so everything same like test planning what is the manual test plan you are preparing same test plan you need to prepare for selenium test planning why because same thing happens what is the flow it is happening for manual testing same thing happen for selenium test planning okay this coming to test scripts so when you will start test scripts once uh, you have you have sent for approval right for uh, your timelines once you received approval from project manager like project manager will receive from approval from clients and uh, project manager will uh, provide approval to the test lead and test lead will guide us so at the time we need to start preparing object identification for aut this one is when you send for approval at the time only you are going to start preparing the object identifications like object repository 
So whatever test data we required, whether it could be Excel, CSV, or JXL files. So different different uh, you need to prepare for test data files. Okay, next uh, regression test suit like. Every test cases will cover under this regression test cases as per your prioritization P1, P2, P3 as per the, your main flow you are going to start preparing test scripts start preparing test scripts as for assigned tasks okay so once a task is completed means daily you need to develop that test script before coming to the source management tool like CVS, Git, GitHub etc <coughs> you are using GitHub so before commit if you are working with suppose one person is working on one model another person is working on preparing test scripts on another model so is there if it is having any integrations or any depends on each and every model then you need to collaborate each other whenever you are preparing test scripts when you are going to commit or update into CVS or source management tool you need to discuss with those particular automation test member before committing updating or modifying your script so whenever you are going to commit you have to identify whether what are the modules it is impacting your script okay like that you need to identify you need to discuss it and each time then only you are going to commit into your script into git hub or CVS or dot is different different tools okay next uh, maintaining the test script should be updated and it should be execute all the test case as per commit update and modify okay you need to debug once you debug your script you will find some errors like uh, sometimes firefox browser is shut down sometimes chrome driver in lot of sometimes IE browser is not working sometimes system may be slow so at that time what will happen by execution time it will take so at that time sometimes object identification makes a lot of time to identify the uh, objects elements in your applications at that time what you have to do you have to check properly each and every line with the help of debug, debug what where i am getting the error any like uh, syntax errors are there any source any test cases is missing any requirement is missing so like this you need to debug the script then only you can identify how to <coughs> create the script with the help of a debug then only you can know that your test script is, script is perfectly fine so you can debug the script with the help of i will show you from here you can see as you can in the run script run you can see debug f11 once you start f11 okay 